So you probably saw Moonlight lose the Best Picture Oscar and then win the Best Picture Oscar. Well, here's a bunch of people who hated it. Incredibly simple. No dialogue. Characters come and leave without resolution. No character growth. Guns come and go with no relevance or application. Worst movie I have seen this year. You like treated the guns as people. You know, the people showed up and then they left. There was no character development. There was no gun development. Maybe that's why you thought there was no dialogue because you got the people confused with the guns. Guns don't kill people. Guns are people. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood Pederast. How do we get a gay movie to win Best Picture? You saw what happened with 12 Years a Slave. Make it black, guilt voters into it, can't lose. I don't know if I'm gonna like making this video. <laughs> movie is alright. Definitely could live without seeing it. You have for however long you had lived prior, so yes. Story about a young boy whose mother dies from drugs and he grows up to be a drug dealer. The end. Where's the story? Clearly the fact that he was gay makes it look okay to be a drug dealer. And it goes on. <laughs> I don't think they ever talked about it being okay. It's just that it existed to have a serious moment in this movie, in this video. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. I'm already uncomfortable. I enjoy a thoughtful, engaging film allowing introspection. But this movie dragged. I checked the watch a lot. Bad sign. I don't care that you checked your watch, as long as you didn't check your phone. Be courteous to the other people watching movies, dick fart. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the audible implications of that is hilarious. I just figured it's like when you pull the part of the balloon apart. <laughs> Boring. Worst movie that ever won an award. You're not aware of the Razzies. <laughs> also, porn movies win awards for best pizza delivery guy who can fix your kitchen sink. After the movie, I was asked if I liked the movie. No, I didn't. I didn't like it. I know I'm supposed to, but the storyline isn't strong. My favorite parts of the movie occurred in the first half, and I couldn't wait to use the bathroom, even though I didn't really need to. That's how you get hernias. It's like having a baby. Don't push unless you're supposed to. <laughs> Hooray! Broke Black Mountain. Hmm. Won the Oscar for Best Picture. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> they should put a warning on movies that cover topics that might disturb normal people. Oh, you are an asshole. My friend and I thought this was the worst, most boring film we have ever seen. It looked as if it had been produced on a mobile phone. Where do you buy that phone? This is the best one I got. <laughs> as the poster suggests, Moonlight is a neon spotlight on the life and tribulations of a, sorry, if I say anything more about who he is as a character, it will be a spoiler. I'll just say that alternate titles could have been Gangster and Brokeback Ghetto. Okay, spoiler. I feel like if you're gonna be an idiot, at least come up with something more clever for your puns. Hold on. I want to come up with something more clever. Man ass to society. <laughs> A triumph for the politically correct. Numbly boring. I feel like politically correct people wouldn't want this movie. We can't talk about that here. No. No talking. <laughs> we did it! Like Manchester by the Sea, this is a well done movie that is incredibly, incredibly depressing. <laughs> incredibly. Bad credit, low credit, no credit, it's incredibly easy to get a car at Joe Bubba's car shop. Boring, gay, super slow, stupidity, movie, junkies, drugs, garbage, cars, food, pizza, porn. You want. <laughs> Just cause that's the lowest option available, movies sucked literally. What are the symbols? What do the symbols mean? Rating it higher just because it's colored is also discrimination. This is unfair. Would you have preferred it in black and white or were you being a racist prick? The Emperor's New Clothes is not this movie. Are these connected in some manner? Not a single llama. Oh, that's Emperor's New Groove. Same f***ing thing. <laughs> Last time I was this bored at a movie was when Ghost Dad was playing. <laughs>
You weren't bored, you were passing out with whatever Cosby slipped you. Just another Black Struggles film. We're gonna go ahead and move on. <laughs> I'm scared to read these. <laughs> <Enough>. <laughs> uh, you lost me with Juan, the drug dealer with a heart of gold. He had a grill of gold. Why can't he have a heart of gold too? Absolutely the worst movie of the year and my number two worst of all time. I thought Tyler Perry's Halloween movie was the worst, but this overdid it. I was... <laughs> I don't even know how to come up with what you like based on your worsts, because they're so different. I was ready to walk out in the first 15 minutes. I tried to walk out during the last 30 minutes, but my female guest told me to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> to the since I picked it. Horrible plot, beginning and ending. Flickster, you owe me my money back since I used your rating to choose this movie. I'm not telling anyone I saw this movie. Okay. <laughs> There's so much wrong with this. Putting Moonlight in the same category as Tyler Perry's Halloween is insane. <laughs> your girlfriend forced you to stay and watch the movie because you picked it. You want your money back from Flickster because they gave you a suggestion and then you say you're not gonna tell anyone you saw it, but you're broadcasting it over the internet. So well done on the keeping a secret. Painful. I'd rather have a root canal therapy than sit through that again. Root canal therapy. So tell me how you feel. <laughs> Good thing I got a screener and didn't pay for a babysitter and movie tickets. <laughs> I really hoped I'd love this movie. What's the hype? No one likes a black kid with a crack addicted mom movie more than me. That's gonna be a weird thing to have on your tombstone. <laughs> Here lies Isabella B. No one likes a black kid with a crack addicted mom more than me. Okay, black film version. So what? It sounds worse than it is because it really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> like the poor English made it somehow more racist. <laughs> it was disappointed, cause movies have feelings. Absolute boring crap, one of the worst movies ever. People who say this film is any good are pulling their own puds way too much. I don't really understand what jerking off has to do with liking this movie. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. He also created dinosaurs and they're all dead. Shit changes. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, you want me to see a movie with that poster? What is going okay in that poster, brah? The more I look at it, the less I understand it. It's a triangle face, but the chunk of that triangle is like the top of his face is young and the other two remaining triangles have a beard? What? But then you f***ed it up because it's clearly different people trying to look like one. The eyes don't match, the nostrils don't match. I, you end up with S deformed face, but not too deformed. Just enough that you're like, what's happening here? Is he retarded? Does he have fine bros divergent eyeballs? <laughs> They're allegiant eyeballs. This is the worst f***ing poster for an Oscar nominated movie of all f***ing time. You incompetent f***s, lol. Wow. He hated the poster. So damn much. It's a good poster. They lined everything up well, and I am proud of them. <laughs> and the award for best poster goes to... La La Land. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Moonlight, I'm sorry. I got the wrong envelope. It's, it, it actually says nothing. Most overrated movie is 16. <laughs> Old enough to drive. <laughs> now I have to look up every movie that came out 16 years ago to figure out what the hell you're talking about? 